Today's episode has been brought to you by NordVPN. Hey, Justin, you ready for some great news? Are you moving to Mars? Moving to... what? No. I'm going to tell you all the benefits of NordVPN. Oh, I already use it. NordVPN encrypts your data and hides your IP address from would-be bad guys trying to steal your info. Not only is Nord the fastest VPN on the planet, you can choose from over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and protect up to six devices with one account. You can use it to watch content not available in your country. Or play games that aren't available in your country. Double encryption, split tunneling support, multi-factor authentication. Plus, if you click the link in the description, you'll get an exclusive deal. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, is that it? You really think I could move to Mars? Protect your data with NordVPN. Click the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash manshorts for a huge discount today. Man Shorts. You know, it was harder to put this together than I thought it would be, but we'll see how it goes. I don't even really know what's going on in Star Trek. I do know that the guy from Reading Rainbow was on there, so that's cool. Yeah, that's Jordy LaForge from TNG. Like, you, you haven't seen Star Trek, you haven't seen Star Wars. Are you guys even nerds? Excuse me, who said I was a nerd? What is Star Trek about? Exploration and hope. It's about a future based on science where people actually work together for the greater good. Boring. Where are we? Deep space. You are floating through vast nothingness. Captain's Log, Stardate 48279.4. It's been three days since our encounter with the Romulans, and I fear that it may not be our last. Morale seems good among the USS Kepler, though something does seem off. I fear Sarah's insatiable bloodlust may be more of a hindrance than a benefit to our crew. A war is brewing, but we may not have to worry about our enemies. It may be internal. Who are you talking to? It's the captain's lo- it's the captain's law. Hey, captain, something popped up on the radar. You might want to take a look. The two of you head to the bridge where several other crew members are monitoring control panels. What is it? An anomalous blip. It's headed right for us. Have we tried communicating with it? We have. No response so far. Keep trying. Ready the torpedoes. Already done. Justin, give me a radar check. 18. You successfully tracked the blip and its projected trajectory. Sir, the blip is closing in. Time to intercept, 45 seconds. Ready evasive maneuvers. I'm rerouting power to the side thrusters. Get ready to fire the torpedoes. This is Captain Meltzer of the USS Kepler. Deviate your course now or be fired upon. The object continues its approach with no response. Justin, give me a perception check. 22. The blip begins to take shape. I just sent you a picture of what it looks like. Well, this doesn't look too scary. It's just a big cube. Uh Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh uh-oh? It's just a cube. It's a Borg cube. They're a civilization of cybernetic organisms linked together in a hive mind called the Collective. Oh. Well, this sucks. Finally, a voice booms over the ship's comms. Resistance is futile. Prepare to be assimilated. What do we do? Fire the weapons. Justin, hit it with everything. Sarah and Justin, give me computer use checks to fire the weapons. Nine. 17. You begin firing phasers and torpedoes, but they don't seem to be having much of an effect. The Borg cube is now almost on top of the Kepler. Are we within tractor beam range? As you ask this, a huge glow of green light emits from the cube and envelops your ship. The systems begin shutting down. We're gonna die. Okay, I've never seen her this scared. Justin, Borg ships are basically impossible to defeat in one-on-one combat. Every time you use a weapon on a Borg ship, it adapts to the weapon and becomes immune to it. You hear a hum as your transporters power on, and after a few seconds, Borg begin boarding your ship. I got a 15 to attack with my phaser. You manage to kill one of them, but the Borg quickly learns your weapon, rendering it useless. They continue to beam aboard. Seal the doors. Give me a computer use check. 16. The stress delays your response time slightly, but you manage to close the doors. Four Borg have made it on board, with a fifth being cut in half by the closing doors. Let's go. I'm pulling out my bat list. How did you get one of those? It was a gift from an old friend. Roll initiative. Five. Fourteen. Seven. Okay, the Borg are up first. One of them approaches Justin. Give me a reflex save and a will save. 
8 and 11. Ooh, sorry, buddy. You've been injected with nanoprobes. You've been assimilated. Resistance is futile. Prepare to be assimilated. Sarah, you're up. Taking both my melee attacks. 19 and 23. Both hit. Roll damage. 24 on the first. 16 on the second. You manage to slice through the legs of two of the Borg. They fall to the ground, but they are not dead. Two Borg down. Three remain. Lance, what do you want to do? Can I spend my turn doing research? Sure. What do you want to research? I would like to comb through the Starfleet records and search for ways that the Borg have been nullified in the past. My Batleth is doing a pretty good job so far. Yeah, but we have a whole ship full to deal with. Space. Borg Justin, it's your turn. Join the Borg. Join the Collective. I think I'm going to attack Sarah. 26. Uh, that hits. 43 damage. Sarah flies backward and crashes into a control panel. Sparks fly everywhere. The other two Borg begin walking toward you. 28 and nat 22 attack. Roll damage. 35 and 73. You incapacitate one and decapitate the other. Four more down, one still remains. Assimilate. Lance? Okay, so according to my research, there are a few ways that we can deal with this. Most of them involve blowing up the Borg cube, which we can't do. How about something we can do? Well, first, I'm gonna get the Borg off of my ship. I'd like to open every door on the ship except that one and then blow the airlock. 19. All the doors open, and the Borg are ejected into space. And as a bonus action, I'm going to keep them off by disabling the transporters. 25. You disable the transporters as a Borg is beaming across. All that makes it through is his hand. Now what? At this point, we have two options. We could infect them with a pathogen. Uh, pass. Resistance is futile. Oh, sh I'm going to cut them in half. 27. Sorry, buddy. She sliced you in two and 48 damage. He falls to the ground. Critical damage, system shutting down. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I'm afraid our only other option is to call in species 8472. No, you he mustn't. Doesn't. Uh, what species 8472? The only species the Borg can't assimilate. How do we call them in? Well, we need to create an artificial quantum singularity because that would allow us to open a hole to fluidic space, which then would allow us to send those Borg straight to space hell. Won't we get sucked in too? We just need to get the hole close enough to suck them in without being close enough to suck us in. Ooh, we could use the warp drive to get ourselves away from it. I think. That's gonna require a lot of math. So then the Borg get trapped around the quantum singularity, get sucked through the event horizon, and boom, no more Borg. You know, I don't even know if this would work or could work or if it even makes sense. But because of your effort, I'll let you try. So what do I need to roll? Uh, knowledge space-time, knowledge theoretical physics, a computer use check, and a ranged attack. Can I make the ranged attack? I'm better at targeting systems. Give me an understand wild idea check. 18. I'll allow it. 20 total, 25, 18. 19. Okay, that looks like all the math checks out. Whenever you're ready. Target the coordinates, 85.17.1.16.5.1. Targeting. Your calculations are incorrect. Yeah, I'm gonna sense motive on that. 18. Give me a bluff check. That one. It seems the Borg are acting in their own self-interest. Okay, Sarah. The calculations are set. Fire when ready. I press the trigger. A photon beam erupts out of the ship and hits the exact point that Lance wanted. A yellow-orange hole begins to open. Engage warp drive on my mark. The Borg cube inches closer to the hull. Your entire ship is shaking. We need to engage the warp drive now. Not yet. Wait for it. The Borg are being sucked in. The once cubic ship is now an extended line of light being pulled into the hull. Sam! Engage the warp drive! I press the button. Your ship lurches in the opposite direction. Give me a pilot check. 24. You pull away from the Borg. Barely. Congratulations, you've escaped. For now. Star Trek's awesome. Heck yeah it is. That was rad. Did I die? I feel like I died. Kind of. 
your consciousness is buried in there somewhere. Picard came back from assimilation, so it's possible. What are we playing next week? It's a surprise. But let's just say that things are going to get a little strange. Captain's Log. No, that was almost Shatner. That was too much. I think it's pretty cool to be floating around space. You know, we could go anywhere we want, we could do anything we want, and nobody can stop us because, well, we're not a spaceship. Don't use any of this audio. Action. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because a vast, vast is not a noun. Never been. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Yeah, that is a nice dice. And... No, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard. Okay, I have to work. This is Captain Meltzer of the USS... Did I say the right one? Yeah, I said Meltzer. I thought I switched Kepler and Meltzer there for a second. Yeah, I feel... Well, Projected Trajectory would be a good, like, album name. Or, like, a experimental rock group name. Ladies and gentlemen, Projected Trajectory. I'm not as into Star Trek as Lance is, but I still like all the movies. I like The Next Generation a lot. <laughs> All right, good. An anom anomalous, an anomalous bliss. What's my line? Okay. Yeah. As you ask this, a huge green. L Thought I might have had it. I haven't had dice this whole time, so I'm just gonna have dice now. Cut to Kepler and like, <laughs> and like <Yes>. a. <laughs> no, I was thinking in like a Lincoln Town Car commercial. <laughs> Pause up on the thing with like a Rigsby hat on. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> I rolled two 19s in a row. A whiz pow! Bang! <laughs> Open a hole. I was gonna say get to a hole, but that wouldn't, that's not right. We don't, we don't want to go through it. We want to send them through it. We just do a fake laugh to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I chased down all the cats in the neighborhood with this thing. Sorry, Raptor, get up anymore. <laughs> oh, shh. Can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sarah. The calculations are ready. Nope. I should have my phone up like I'm talking to it, right? Yeah. That'd be funny. The stress manage no. The stress causes your causes your response time. <laughs> <laughs> was that bad or no, was that it's good? good. <laughs> it's good? Oh, you know what the new one is? In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pop me up. Resistance is futile. Prepare to assimilate. Kermit having a panic attack. Yeah. Engage the warp drive! Something fell. I'm just emulating a wacky inflatable arm <laughs> flailing tube, man. <laughs> the end is upon us, I promise you now, this is the one, no problem with me. So watch how you talking, and where you've been walking, they call me the BBEG. I'm more than a little OP, I do what I want, yeah, that's a mantra. I keep them running and gunning like country, y'all, I'm a monster. Turn it up. What you know about the final boss? I got I'm trying to buy time with the sign of the cross. I redefine high crime and the meaning of loss. I'm off hip, but I body like I'm playing the cross. B to the B to the EG, I'm keeping them queasy. I make it seem easy. Acknowledge me, I've been demolishing your cities. I'm astonishingly sleazy. I'm the big bad. Y'all must be the cast. I'm killing the master, villain the blast, a disaster. Really a rap bastard with the rap fast for the masses. I ravage all races and classes. Savage, I can't stop myself. Thinking of all the ways I can top myself. On God, I can move like a devil. I hope you and your squad are ready for the last level that ends here.